Oh yeah, guys, Spammy guys calling, I would say. Um, let's go into the call. Hello. Hello, ah, Nico hello, hello. guy. Nico from Dresden. Yeah. He's here. How are you doing? <laughs> good. What about you? Hey, yeah, good, good. I have all my students ready. Are you ready to teach us uh, some uh, some stuff here? I hope so. I hope so. What do you mean you hope so? Yeah, of course I am ready. Super sorry. Of course, yeah, of course. I've, I've heard people <laughs> claim that you are the best player nowadays, so you have a lot to uh, yeah, prove here. Yeah, you have a lot to, uh, yeah. you know, prove yeah, your I'm, worth. I'm willing to share my knowledge. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I have... So to explain, I don't know if you already explained it to, to the people that watch you, but... Um, I came to you uh, after the rally update, and uh, mm. since I am really bad at rally, uh, well, I consider myself bad at rally, and I have like no knowledge about the majority of things. Uh, I yeah. reached out to you to uh, teach me in particular uh, how to become better, but now we are doing it for the greater good of Trickmania community, and I have compiled a couple questions here, 10 to be exact, Okay, okay. Um, in no particular order, I'm going to I'm gonna ask these ones. And then uh, I think the best way what we can do is I just watch you. If you are showing something, I just watch you on on stream. Uh, I think that's the that's that that's the best thing because I cannot really show you anything. Yeah, so I just play and you watch uh, my live. Yeah, I, I think so. Would you be able to okay. share it on Discord or not? I can. I can, yeah. I can, I can, I can. Yeah, yeah, uh, do that. So, zack. And then, zack. I hope that will work. Mm -hmm. Peng. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is... Do you see my game? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good, this is good. Perfect. So, yeah. All right. the, 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 the thing maybe first is if if people are not aware, like, uh, what is your experience with, uh, with Rally in particular? Um, yeah, so Rally is, of course, one of the um, seven environments of uh, Trickmania United, especially, um, similar to Snow, for example. And uh, before I started playing Trickmania 2020, and before I even became like a pro player like three years ago, uh, I was pretty much playing Trickmania United for like 10 years straight. Not, of course, as active as I do nowadays, but I did play it a lot, and uh, that's why I also have quite a bit of experience um, with all of the cars that were featured there, except for Stadium, funnily enough, because... Yeah, the United players were always a bit uh, <laughs> not that positive uh, towards Stadium. So I mainly played the six other environments. And uh, the one that I played the most was always Snow. Okay. And uh, yeah, but Rally also was one of the ones that I uh, really enjoyed. So I hope uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I have okay. enough knowledge to, to share it today. I mean, so we have a, we have a veteran here in the in the building. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to shoot, uh, shoot my first question here. Um, and like I said, this is in no chronological order, no particular vibe that I'm going with. But uh, with the recent update, we have seen that sensitivity can now be adjusted. Uh, we have new action keys. And I personally have a hard time finding out what settings I would be using or preferring when I'm driving the rally car. Um, now you are on a wheel, so it might be a little bit difficult yeah. for you to answer <laughs> this question, but how do you find your perfect setting for, let's say the rally car in this case, like what would, what do you do now with the sensitivity and, uh, action key usage to, to get, you know, the best feeling because default settings, let's be honest, is not possible like for no one. Um, with pet etc not no at least not without action keys i guess yeah so what what would you say like lower lower sensitivity uh like you are using your steering wheel right so you have changed your yes. your radius or whatever it is um to a certain degree um but what what would you say is comparable then for let's say a controller user like how much should we lower the sensitivity of our controller to be, you know, driving yeah. the rally car significantly better. What do you think? Yeah, so the thing with rally car is, I guess many already noticed that in case you played rally, um, you never really need to full steer. There are, of course, exceptions like, let's say you do like 
a new slide on the ice or on the plastic but when you drive really the, the normal way on like road or uh, dirt for example you never need to full steer it's kind of hard for me to tell a certain uh, percentage but i don't think you ever go higher than 80 uh, percent and uh, usually what you need is like I also heard other people saying like between action key 2 and 3, so 40 to 60 percent. Of course, uh, on some maps, like for example, uh, I don't know if you see my... Um, yeah, yeah, I'm watching. ...things at the moment. Like for example, on here, uh, this one, the full speed map, Deep East, there are also turns where you only need to steer like 5 to 10 percent. So um, you definitely need low steering rates uh, the most, which is why the rally car is um, probably the only car where it would, in theory, make sense to... Um, go for a lower sensitivity. Okay. Um, it's hard to tell a number there. Like th the thing is, like really low sensitivity, like let's say zero point one or so, um, doesn't really make any sense if you just look at the numbers how it changes your steering graph. It's completely ridiculous. Um, what could might work might be something between zero point seven at lowest, I would guess, and between uh one. And for Pat, maybe 0 0.8, 0 0.9 could make sense, but it's of course also still personal preference. You can of course still get it with um, standard sensitivity of 1 as well if you use action keys. That's just a bit of a preference, but I think it may would make sense for controller players to try it out between these values. L like let's say maybe 0 0.8 and uh, 1.0. Yeah. But lower doesn't really make sense and higher makes absolutely no sense for rally car. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I have been trying to 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 find my sensitivity, right? I've tried 0 0.95, 0 0.92, 0 0.9, 0 0.8 something. But the, the 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 thing is like, I am bad at rally, so yeah. no matter what I change, I'm still gonna be bad, and I don't know what the feeling is that I need on rally. So you're saying super low sense, like lower steering value or lower sensitivity is is just straight up better and you just need to you know practice with it it depends like as i said like giga low sensitivity makes no sense like don't go below like 0.7 even with rally car like i don't know if you uh, ever showed the, the table with the exact values to your stream but they already sound ridiculous okay um but yeah, i think for pet players especially when you have no experience with rally like there yeah. are rally yeah, yeah, players yeah. like let's say let's say roa for example i guess all of you guys uh, yeah roa is using just watching. default Exactly, because he's been used to it for like 10 years and he's like really good with it, of course. But I think if you're just starting to learn uh, the rally car, it would help a little bit to go slightly lower. As I said, like between maybe 0 0.8 and uh, maybe 0 0.9, whatever. Okay. You also said that you tried 0 0.94, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just really Sensitivity, weird. to be honest, uh, <laughs> uh, sensitivity is not as important as getting used to using action keys, I would say, for pet. Like action okay. keys are a way bigger help than um, the lower sensitivity. The lower sensitivity is more like a, you can probably see it more like a bonus or like as a thing that can you that you can combine with action keys. But action keys are the more essential part. Okay, I would say at least. I mean, I'm not a controller player. Of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. But, of course. Uh, that's so, just what I have also heard and uh, seen. I have a follow up question then. So, like, on the journey of finding your perfect settings, then would you would you by default stick with uh, like uh, as as it is a learning process, right? Would you stick yes, with one sensitivity, which is the default, and play with action keys only first? And after that, you're like, okay, well, this is like uh, it's feeling good, but what if I can enhance it more with lowering the sensitivity? Is that the the process you would go with? Like stay with default and then start with action keys first? I think that would make sense, yes, because okay. if you, like, action keys are, as I said, the, the way more um, vital part. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the sensitivity settings shouldn't make that big of a difference, as I said, because if you go too low, uh, it just makes your steering curve really, really weird. It's hard to, like, uh, to, to speak about it when you don't really see the graph, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as I said, like, action keys are definitely the thing that you want to learn... Uh, earlier or like before okay so what you said uh should make more sense in my opinion at least okay 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 well that is uh question one pretty much answered so i've the second question is more of gameplay oriented and this is like a mm -hmm. big one for me uh is when do you determine to release versus breaking or when do you determine to do accelerating and breaking at the same time like what this is a mechanic that is so strange to me in particular uh, and I don't know the difference. Like, when do you use what? Is there is there a 
a, a answer to this. Like, when would you use accelerating braking uh, at the same time? When do you release, uh, etc.? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm gonna show my game again. Yeah, I'm watching. On the map, which might be interesting for that. Um, maybe as a, in general, um, it's very often a feeling kind of thing uh, when you wanna use what. But the key thing you need to know is that releasing doesn't really do a lot to the rally car. Like, obviously, you lose speed when you don't accelerate, but it's very, very minor. Like, you can notice that, for example, when you go through a free wheel with the rally car, you can drive still for, like, ages, and you will not go down to zero. So yeah. releasing doesn't do a lot. Okay. So whenever you need to uh, drop a huge amount of speed, um, you uh, want to use the brake, and when it's only, like, very small adjustments, sort of, like, let's say uh, you have 300 speed into a turn, and the perfect way to do the turn is 295, let's say, mm -hmm. then you just want to release. So for big speed drops, braking, and for um, smaller adjustments, it is basically releasing. And there are, of course, also except exceptions. Like, for example, on this map, uh, when you have wet tires, yeah. it's, of course, changing everything up a little bit again, because then you lose even more speed with releasing. So braking becomes... Uh, more important again. There's also a few other things that are interesting because um, it's now a bit advanced, but you see when I brake like this and I drive, I sometimes have skid marks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Yeah, yeah. And when you have these double skid marks, it's hard to, to force them that much, um, you will have actually more grip. That's also a kind of a mechanic that you can use. Okay. Um, like this here, this was a good example, for example. And this is uh, only applying on road. And uh, yeah, this, this is now a bit advanced, of course. But, yeah, yeah, uh, For your main question, uh, when you want to drop a lot of speed, then braking, and when it's only small adjustments, then rather releasing. Okay. It will become a feeling thing if you play it a bit more. Yeah, because right now I have uh, I, I've I've played a couple hours of rally now, and it, the the brake is so strong, like. Yeah, that's true. Do you do you hold the brake or are you more doing like brake taps? Like if you're familiar with valley brake tricks, is it like do I have to think more like this or like where you have like a, a millisecond of a brake tap or is it like because if, if I press the brake, it, it's almost like my car just comes to a complete stop. That, that's yeah. how it feels. Um, yeah, it is very sensitive. That's for sure. It's also similar like that with the snow car, actually, funnily enough. Yeah. And um. Yeah, uh, basically, it is. Uh, yeah, when you like, as I said, like, it's it's, it's kind it's kind of comparable with Valley. I never played Valley a lot, but often it is just brake taps. But sometimes you just need to um, brake more, of course. So let's say, for example, um, the last turn on this discovery map here, um, you, for example, need to hold brake for a little bit longer. But, like, there's also another thread. Like, there's so many things to to talk about, to be honest. <laughs> but let's say this line, this turn here. Yeah. Like, of course, you have wet tires, which is a bit different now again. Yeah, yeah. But here you see, uh, World Record is braking for a little bit. The inputs are, of course, not showing up now, but he's holding brake for, like, yeah, one second yeah, or so, yeah, yeah. roughly. Because he needs to drop a lot of speed. But if he would uh, only need to drop a little bit of speed, then it would only be a brake tap. So you just have to get used to the sensitivity, of course, a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay. And is but maybe in that regard, uh, an interesting threat uh, that is also new to this game now, um, when you have wet tires and you need to slow down a lot, um, there's actually this thread here where you can Over intentionally do a drift to drop speed, mm. exactly. Because if you would try to just hold brake, even with releasing, you would literally have to start holding here. Yeah, that's all what the way I did. Into, yeah, that's what I yeah, did. I did that as well in my uh, discovery. You won't get around. So when you have wet tires, this is another thread to slow down. Okay, speed. so this is this um, this would only apply to wet tires to slow down. Like, why yes. wouldn't you use this when you want to just slow down? Why won't you just drift? Um, because uh, on wet tires, the brake is not working as nicely. Uh, this is just the fastest way to slow down, basically. Okay. But on if you don't have wet tires, then the brake is like strong enough on road and dirt to to slow you down. Okay. okay. Like drifting might also work there if you do it, but it's also harder to control than just like a controlled uh, break, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, understand, understand. And it's actually interesting when you said uh, you have more grip on road because that is the next question that I have. Like, is there a difference yeah. between braking on different surfaces? So you, you said you have more grip on road with well, when you mm -hmm. have these two skid marks behind you. Like, does yeah. this also apply on dirt or on grass? Or um, like, are there differences between these surfaces? Yeah, that's also very interesting because the grip, um, actually the rally car has different grip on like every single surface. The okay. most grip you will have on wood. Yeah. Um, which is also new to the game, so it's also a bit new to me, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the second most grip you have on um, dirt. The reason for that is that uh, I 
taught you earlier um, about the skid marks thing, right? That you have more um, grip when you have skids on um, road. Okay, so that also and applies dirt, to dirt. Yes, and on dirt you basically always have skids, you could say. So you just have a little bit more grip on dirt than on regular uh, roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then um, after that would probably be grass. And then the lowest grip you have on plastic, which is basically like you almost have no grip. You yeah. Just, you almost always slide, basically. And uh, the lower the grip is you have on the surfaces, the um, the lower also the, the effect of the brake is, kind of. Mm. So on wood, uh, it is sort of the strongest. And then, for example, on grass, there are some grass maps um, in the campaign as well. Uh, on grass, you need to brake for like an eternity to, for the car to slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... I you hate, basically need I, to get, I, I uh, hate grass. Yeah, yeah, you need to get used to the different um, feelings, basically, of uh, how much... Like, for example, here, green stage. Green stage mm -hmm. is a really good example. Uh, maybe you can quickly do a run to, to show what I am talking about. Yeah, but when the, you break here... This is just... The gameplay on this yeah, like is... You see, I, yeah, you this is, what, this you, is pretty much slide me. out early, and look when I break. Like, I hold break, I, it takes quite a bit of time, even though I had low speed to slow down. Yeah. And also here, for example, like if I would try to slow down normally for this turn, it takes way longer than on road or mm. on dirt, for example. So it is actually different everywhere, yes. And you also see here now, I uh, on grass, like you constantly have the skid marks, no matter how you drive. Yeah, so sk skid marks equal more grip. Like that, that's, that, yeah, that's you, what it is. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that, it makes sense then, because if you're driving normal road, you don't have skids. So that's why you add the brake to get the exactly. skid. Unless you make, do the brake, exactly. Yeah, okay, exactly. okay, okay. Makes sense. Yep. I understand now. Also, uh, what maybe another interesting strat is, what, I, what is also a new thing about Trackmania 2020, uh, on many maps, when you have these kind of blocks here, for example, um, it is actually faster to cut over the penalty grass, which is also something that is sometimes done with the stadium car, of course. Mm -hmm. But with rally car, I think it's going to be even more important. Or to use like, for example, to slow this down turn, instead of breaking yes. yourself. Yeah, for example, here in this part, um, you would be way too fast to survive the turn the normal way. Ah. So you cut a little bit over to grass here, you know? I see, I see. And there's also uh, other parts, uh, other maps where you can short it off. I don't really know the campaign by heart that much. But there are quite many maps where um, you can apply that. So that's also something new for me. <laughs> but it's uh, something you definitely have to keep in mind when you play a new rally map, kind of. Okay, okay. Well, I, I think the uh, the question there with the grip is uh, is answered. Uh, next question is sliding versus no sliding. I think we've touched, uh, you touched upon it a little bit. Uh, but what I mean with this question is uh, why? So for me, because I'm not that fast of a driver yet, right? Um, yes. I find sliding through a turn much easier and consistent than no sliding like for me it's the same result but would you still say that sliding is just you never want to slide besides that one so, one moment where you said with the water wheels to slow down yes so like uh i can tell you on on road on dirt and on grass you never want to slide like it's always slower no matter the scenario maybe there are some like weird khaki maps of course but on normal driving maps it is always slower. Okay. And uh, in case you are, like what you just said, um, if you are faster in a turn with sliding than in comparison to like a no slide attempt of you, yeah. then the no slide was just not good. <laughs> okay. 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 okay so okay. like, no, it makes so sense. no sliding is always faster. Um, of course, now we have different physics as well. It's also the same on wood, by the way. On wood also, you I don't think you will ever want to slide there. And uh, it is a bit different on uh, ice and plastic, of course. Um, yeah. So for example, we have here the, the Rastic map, really on plastic. Um, because plastic has such low grip, uh, it's not always possible to no-slide. And there's also this uh, like slide mechanic that you also yeah. have on ice. It's like the and for example, stuff, almost. Yeah, so for example, in this U-turn here, which we also saw in the trailer, mm. uh, you come in with a lot of speed from the reactor. And if you would want to completely no-slide it, it like, it's basically impossible. Yeah. So what the world record does in this case is to um, do like a slide through the first part of the turn to drop the speed and then drift cancel and no-slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, it can be faster to slide when you have like tight turns with too much speed. Like also here, for example, with the slide trick. But usually uh, if you can no-slide without ha being way too fast, you still want to... Um, not slide on plastic. Like it's crazy like that it's a bit you of a on plastic. Here. This this replay just showed that it wasn't even steering more than twenty five percent. Like yeah, like plastic is kind of kind of kind of crazy. <laughs> to be honest. 
Like you just have no grip. I, I legit like don't even think for I can do that if I have default settings and like that is crazy. Yeah, it is a bit stupid to be honest. <laughs> that is insane. That is insane. Like here, for example. Okay, so like he slows down and still twenty percent. So though. just the general <laughs> gameplay is no sliding is always gonna be faster. And if you are in a scenario where sliding for for the player is faster, then you just are bad at no sliding. That is kind of the kind of yeah. yeah Except okay. of course you have these kind of plastic yeah, turns, yeah, yeah. or of course on ice. Ice is of course another entirely different thing, which is also new to me, of course. I don't know if you have a question for that. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I, I, I try to avoid questions that with ice because you are completely new to ice as well. So it makes kind of no okay. sense to, <laughs> to ask someone yeah. that is, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I know a few things about ice, but it's still, of course, new to. Yeah, to yeah maybe for another, uh, so, for another episode. Yeah, exactly. For another episode. Okay, okay. Yeah. Next so question. Maybe to, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, what you were you gonna say? Up pretty much. <laughs> No, you summon it. Yeah, up. only that. Uh, like, it's always no sliding. The only exceptions yeah. are basically wet tires to slow down or okay. plastic to slow down. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, are gears relevant? No. Not at all. Not really. Not at. I. Uh, not that I know at least. Like, it's the same as with the snow car. Um, gears in general for the Trackmania original cars. So also for the desert car that we will get. Uh, for the next update. They don't really make a difference. Like there okay. can maybe be scenarios where, let's say, you have a turn where you, if you get it perfect, uh, you can keep fifth gear. Otherwise, you drop to fourth. Maybe it results in a small speed difference, but it's not like the same as on stadium, so that you don't have to, so that you don't want to steer while you yeah, gear, yeah, yeah. or that you can get actual gear slowdowns or stuff like that. They don't really matter, especially to beginners. You can completely ignore it. Okay, okay. I mean, that's good to know. Um... This next question is more of a, uh, for me personally, a block related question because we have these new uh, like kind of uphill blocks. And the question that ties into this is, are there any visual or sound cues with Rally? And for me, the visual aspect is uh, the correct lines that you would take in these new, uh, like in these uphill blocks. Um, like, um, do you have any, do you yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any visual cue where you, how you take these, because that would uh, already help a lot for me personally. Mm. I mean, visual cues is maybe a bit hard to describe, but what's interesting about these blocks is that always at the top of them, like let's say here, for example, mm -hmm. um, the danger of losing grip is quite high because yeah. you, here, you have, you, here you have the elevation change from like um, going straight to going a bit downhill. Um, so on these parts, when you are on this part of the block, you always want to um, stop steering a little bit or like reduce your steering. Okay. I don't know if I can show that with the inputs on my uh, PP here. Maybe it is possible to see. But you see, did you see it? Yeah, so it's so it's like always, right? so in this... In so like, yeah, and then you, you stop, stop steering a little bit and then you go straight again. Because in this part, you also see I jump a little bit and it's the and you release highest there. probability of losing grip. You're also releasing. Yeah, that case, yes. So why are you not braking? I did also brake, I think. Okay. Sometimes it's a bit confusing. It's also a, a lot of a feeling thing. Like as a, mm. if you learn rally, you don't think about, oh yeah, here I do release, then I do break and release. Here I do a small uh, break and then another release. Like it's a bit of a feeling thing always. Okay, okay. But, uh, but yeah, about those blocks, yeah. Yeah, let's say on, on these blocks right here, like you want to yeah. keep the, so if you if you were to, you know, you need to slow down because I see like you, you take the inside line, you go from outside inside, then from mm -hmm. middle to inside again. Like, yeah. you always want to, like, you know, you want to know slide this, for instance, as well? Yes, always. Jesus and uh, because God. of that, you also uh, want to stop steering a little bit here, because otherwise the car will, like, break out a little bit, you know? Okay. So you see, you, I will probably do it on every, also when you go downhill, you see, I stop yeah. steering a little bit when I am over the edge here. And you're like, like stop one, steer, one and then here, stop steer a little bit. Okay, exactly, because you have a little bit of airtime, and it's just easy to slide out. And once you catch grip again, you can... Um, steer a bit more and I will yeah. do that on like every single part here you see I d didn't even think about it yeah, when but I was here you're over sliding <laughs> holy yeah yeah was not it's also not a good record okay, okay. <laughs> not that great at least I see I see like, but what record is probably not doing it if you take a look at that but yeah you you would you would go for like the, the line that that is being taken yeah see it's full sliding yeah yeah That's interesting teacher <laughs> what is happening <laughs> It's sliding! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what did you say? 
Yeah, but who said this record is next? That is true. You're, yeah, you're true. You're, yeah, true, <laughs> true, 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 true. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I usually want to avoid it, like, as much as possible, of course. Yeah, like, yeah. The thing is, he's, like, if you have a little bit, like, of a slide, like, let's say, you know, this here. You see? Yeah. Like, a tiny little bit. You don't lose much. Okay. You don't want to fully overslide, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Full overslides are just a no-go. Like, the, these minuscule... Yeah. There's also a keyboard record, by the way, just for oh, your damn. interest. Okay. At least it looks like it. What the hell? Or? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it is. 40 per yeah, it is. For sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so visual cues is more like uh, there, there isn't really really any that you have. Not really, but what's, what's maybe also interesting, like these turns, I mean, it's of course a bit different when you have like a U-turn, but when you only have one of these turns, it's always um, outside, then you go uh, inside, stop the steering at this point here a little bit, and then, uh, and then you're at the inside and then outside again, like normal racing line. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. So it's never really, it's not like a dirt outside turn, which you sometimes have, where you want to be full outside or something. It's usually always outside, inside, outside. Okay. And in case of the first turn here, for example, it is outside, and then middle, and then uh, the same line yeah, again. Yeah, because yeah. if you would go outside here, you would have a shit line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, is there any air control on the Relic Tour? Um, yes. Like, do you have any benefits of, um, of, like, landing on four wheels? Is landing sideways? Is just no bueno? Uh, landing um, on your front wheels, etc. So, in terms of air control, it's uh, also the same as with the snow car. Uh, you cannot air brake, which you probably already know. Yeah. But um, you can um, like counter steer in the air to stop your rotation. Okay. And uh, that is not very important. Uh, sometimes when you have like let's say you have a huge drop from like uh, 20 blocks down, you can do it to land like less on your nose. But if you just have normal jumps, you don't really have to do any air control with the um, with the rally car. There, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, but in most cases, if you have a jump or drop, it's uh, four wheel landing is preferred yeah but if you land slightly on your nose or on your sides it also doesn't matter you just wanna you just don't wanna exaggerate it okay you know? okay okay okay, okay. And there are also no landing bugs with rally or anything so yeah you know, nothing you really have to watch out for especially as a beginner like just just jump yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. better try to focus on your line that you have in the jump than the actual jump okay 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 uh next question Hmm. On the rally discovery, we have seen already many instances where there are wall banks uh, yeah. being used. Uh, and apparently in original rally, it wasn't really utilized. Uh, would you say Rarely that, ever, yeah, yeah, would you say that if if there are wall banks available, it's always going to be beneficial to use them? Or would you stay away mm. from it? Um. I mean, that's also something uh, kind of new for me. I'm just looking at... Where was... There was a map which had, like, two wall banks. Yeah, I don't know which one it was. This one, 16, yeah. This one, okay. Yeah. Um, that's very sure. Has one and in, like, the, in are, the downhill and in the castle. Yeah, so wall banks are um, usually useful in rally, or, like, they can be useful when you have a lot of speed for a tight turn. It's just faster to... To bang the wall instead of um, slowing down. Like for example here, yeah, they like could come in with a lot of speed, and if you would try to go for a nice steering line, you would have to break here a lot already to get a, ni a nicer line. So it's just faster to bang the wall. Okay. Um, I, I I don't really know yet how consistent they are, and didn't really try it out myself yet. But um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Doesn't look that bad to me. I don't know. Of course, uh, the thing is, one there's one thing with Rally. I saw you also had that in your discovery, actually. Um, there are some scenarios where the Rally car, uh, when you collide with the wall, that it's kind of like glued to the wall. Yeah, kind of like yeah, stuck yeah. at the wall and you don't get away from it. And that I don't know why that's happening, but that has always been the case with Rally. Oh, okay. And uh, maybe in some wallbank scenarios, like in this one, probably not, because... Uh, you get you bounce like kinda hard against this wall and also kinda hard against this wall, but yeah, that's maybe the, something to watch out for for wall banks. Exactly. But other than that, um I mean it's definitely worth a try, I guess. But it's not like you should wall bang every turn. Like this is of course only a very niche scenario because you come in with a lot of speed. You have a turn which tightens at the exit, so you would have to slow down a lot. So um yeah, I wouldn't tr don't try it at like every turn. It's maybe worth an attempt if you see you have a lot of speed and there's a super tight turn coming up, then uh you can try it, but I don't think it's going to be that 
bad in terms of consistency. Should be fine in okay, most okay. scenarios. This is actually the map that I've been uh, playing to learn Rally. Do you think it's a good pick? Um, it of course, depends what you want to learn, but this well, map everything is because this did, this one has like almost everything. In my this map opinion. definitely is nice for like the the most standard stuff because mostly you will probably drive on dirt or on road with rally car like something like ice or plastic i don't think it will be used that yeah. often and this is also what you see the most in the campaigns and it also has a different you know variety of turns and stuff so yeah it's pretty exa nice. exactly another uh, interesting map if you want to learn everything is um mixed stage which is also like it has like basically everything okay uh, it's map 22 or also 25 of course but that's a bit of an exception because it's like giga long yeah yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, overall, the, the, the rally campaign is really good to teach, like, everything. It showcases pretty much everything you need to know. You have, like, one map for sort of everything. Okay, that's a really good segue into my, my tenth question. Uh, yeah. How do you learn rally? Like, what <laughs> are the steps for, let, let's say, me, for instance? Like, what do I... Because right now, i have just throwing myself at map 16 and some of these other rally maps. Uh, what is a... What is a proper way to learn rally? Do I make a map in the campaign with one turn and I just learn this one turn? Do I like how how would you go about go about it? Because I don't know. So the, like everything is new to yeah. me, and uh, you know I've been playing stadium for like 12, 12 years, and now I need to learn a new car. So I don't even know where to begin, kind of <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Like, so first of all, of course, whenever you wanna, that applies for pretty much everything in Trickmania. If you wanna really get better at something and you wanna learn it, you just need to play it a lot. Yeah, But yeah, that's yeah. always a stupid advice because, like, just play lol, you won't really get better. Um, so the thing is with Rally, in theory, the Rally car is giga simple because there's only really two strategies, sort of, but it's just extremely hard to master them. And those, those two strategies are basically. Um, the smooth steering, which we already spoke about, which is just essential for rally. Yeah. And then also um, how to use the brake, which we also already spoke about. Those so are you the, probably yeah, noticed that those, 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 are the those two, two are like the absolute are, key components. And they are yeah, the most exactly. difficult to to figure out as well. Like that's kind exactly. that's kind of kind of kind of what I'm struggling with is like when you arrive at one of those up uphill turns that we just spoke about from the outside to the inside line, like. Hmm. How much speed do you need to, you know, get through this turn and stuff? Like, how much brake do you need to add? Like, do you brake in the turn as well? Do you, like, it is, it is very tough. Like, so that that's why I said, like, do I just build a straight line with one turn and then just figure out this one turn? Just like you used to learn, you know, uh, TMGL hmm. maps. Do you cut them into pieces? Yeah. Do you take every single part as their own section to practice? Like... That is uh, that is a bit of the angle that I that I have with this question. I think for the very start, it could maybe make sense to get like a very first feeling about the car. So maybe build like one map with one turn or so. Mm -hmm. But usually, I would say like the easy maps of the campaign, like let's say here the first dirt map, for example, or also to get a feeling on road uh, for uh, here bumpy rally, for example. Um, basically, the white maps of this campaign are enough to learn it. Okay. And. Uh, one approach that would maybe make sense uh, to get a feeling for the rally car is, first of all, you can maybe try to drive turns full speed. Yeah. Just try it out. Okay. So for example, in the start here, like just try to full speed and see how far you can get. In the most cases, like you will only do that at the beginning because eventually you will develop a feeling. But in most cases, you will probably not make the turn because rally is a lot about braking and stuff and yes. also smooth steering. So um, maybe it would make sense to start like that and then just gradually try to slow down and smooth steer a bit differently as until you basically get through the turn quite comfortably. Of course, you don't need to go for world record lines with like giga action key abuse or so. At the beginning, it will just be about surviving, I would say. So let's say, uh, for example, when I drive this map here now, yeah, I'm and I'm uh, arriving at the first turn. Let's say I'm not a real player now, I'm just a beginner on pad. I try to drive through the turn of S, it will probably look like something like this yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. If even. Yeah. So I see, okay, I'm too fast for the turn. I don't make it through even with smooth steering. Only by sliding I can make it through. So maybe now I will try to do a brake tap. Maybe a bit too much as well. And you see, I will make it. So I guess it would make sense to just like gradually try. Or like on this turn, for example, the world record is doing it full speed, right? Mm. But for beginners, it will probably not really be possible. So if a beginner sees, uh, I can only full steer like this. I will not make the turn. Or uh, I only make it with like sliding, for example. 
then you can try to slow down a little bit for the turn and then just try to make it smooth through that. And the more you do this, I guess at least, the more of a feeling you will get for the car. It's of course very hard to um, to drive good runs if you don't have a feeling for the car yet, because it's like in general for Trackmania the most important thing. You need to need to be your car kinda. Yeah, you need yeah, to yeah. know how much it steers and stuff. And I think this is an approach with which you can get used to that a little bit more. So you would say stick with the simplified maps and not look at like, uh, let's say the track of the day that we had, like stay away from those maps. Yeah, that one is already uh, quite difficult. Because you don't And also some of the really... later campaign maps. Uh, okay. Yeah. Also, I would definitely not start like playing ice or plastic maybe. It's yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. I think dirt is pretty good to start with. Maybe also wood. Wood is maybe a good, um, gives you a good idea of the sensitivity of the car. Okay. Um, because you don't slide out immediately, but you still have the same steering sensitivity. And uh, yeah, but I wouldn't really start on like something like grass as well. Like grass is like so difficult to drive. Yeah. You already said it earlier that you also struggled with it. Grass is the worst so, um, on snow and on rally. Yeah, I mean, there's also a reason why the first two maps, for example, are dirt in the campaign. Mm. Like Tona uh, made that quite nicely. It's probably the best to get a hang of the sensitivity. Yeah. And other than that, it's literally just play, 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 play. Yeah, it's I was always sounds dumb, but it's just it is just like that. I was playing map two to test my uh, map two was the map where I was testing my uh, my settings on to see if I could make that jump in the end. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea actually, because map two is uh, if you drive it perfectly, it is full speed. Okay. Like both of the turns. So um, if you just want to learn the steering first, maybe uh, Map 2 is actually a pretty good example, I think. Yeah. Because you could just try to get your f feeling for the steering without having to worry about do I need to brake here now or do I maybe do a small release, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah, this, this was the map so, where I tried to fiddle with my with, with the sensitivity of the uh, in, in the settings. Mm. Uh, yeah, sounds like a good idea, actually, for people. Where you see how world record is driving, it's just like full speeds and yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Could be good to 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 get a feeling for it. At least for the steering part. And for the braking part, it's yeah, how do you get used to that? It's also hard to explain for me because because I yeah, yeah, didn't really learn the car well. like actively. I played it since I'm like, I don't know, ten or so. <laughs> 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 yeah, the the braking part for me is the most difficult because the yeah, brake is very so, different it's to so strong and you just break in a straight line and sometimes you break while you are turning with like smooth steering which is so weird like the the, yeah, combi the combination possible. of accelerating braking and steering at the same time just doesn't make sense to me in my in my <laughs> head um yeah okay okay uh well i got through my 10 questions and i think uh my a question that i have right now is uh if we didn't touch on a topic right now and you want to add something to it, what would you, uh, if you have any, what would you, what would you tell the people? Mm, what's maybe interesting is um, for the new blocks, which is also something I learned a little bit too late. I didn't really immediately notice that. Mm. But uh, on these new castle blocks, I guess we will see them quite a bit in combination with Rally Car. Yeah. Um, it's very often possible to cut over the edges here. It's very bumpy. Like here, the yeah, it is very bumpy. But uh, for example, you have this one, this ninety degree turn here. Like, if you are a stadium player, you would maybe think maybe going outside here yeah, is better or yeah. not going here. But with rally car, it is often possible to uh, to cut over them a lot. Like you also see the world record here by Sander. It's also like fully going over it to get a better line. Also, like here, he will do that. I see. It's maybe something interesting for many people, line wise. But yeah, other than that, um, hmm. I mean, there's of course still the entire topic of ice, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you, <laughs> I don't know if, if it you have too much if, if you have to... figured out something on ice, I mean, just throw it in. I mean, what I uh, figured out on ice also maybe it's smart to go onto the track of the day for that. Yeah, what a terrible uh, which map we had that here. was. Yeah, Camp's Castle. <laughs> Jesus. But what I found out on ice is um, mainly um, it's about having very direct lines in every turn so you want to go inside everywhere if Big possible fan of the time zone and not like, it's not like possible Discord to go like more stream. outside to get Chef's more extra speed kiss. or something that's not really a thing yeah and the most important part about ice is also that you can like do these kind of slides and um there's basically this kind of optimal steering angle which is like around 90 degrees mm, okay and uh the closer you are to it the better it is 
and you basically want to hold it. And the cool thing is also, it doesn't really matter if you are on an analog device. This is also really nicely doable with keyboard. Yeah, so you would say so like, ho like holding goes... would still be better than like tapping. Yeah, what, what is this cut? Yeah, though? it's just a shortcut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like for these kind of ice slides, uh, you always want to be as close as possible to that um, steering angle, which is like around 90% uh, the degrees. Okay. It's very hard to get used to it. I also struggled quite a bit with this cup of the day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the closer you are to that angle, the more speed you keep. That's what I figured out so far on ice. Yeah, and what, what, I, what ice, I noticed is that gears, to me, gears mattered on this map. On ice, maybe, yeah. yeah on ice, it's, maybe it a different felt thing like again. there was like weird gears, like when you snap out of the slide. It felt like I always lost like a lot of speed because of uh, because of the the engine was doing weird shit. Mm -hmm. But the engine is also a good indicator of how good your angle is. Like um, the more your engine is screaming, the closer you are to the good angle. Like if I mm. do a slide, which is like a really low. Like for example, uh, if I do like a good one now, which is like something like this, the engine is like kind of louder, you know? Yeah. But when I go for a low angle, the engine is like kind of like as if it's dying, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear it. I it's can a hear nice it. indicator of how uh, good it is. With reactor, it's of course a bit different again. Okay, okay. But um, yeah, if you have a bit of a lower angle and it sounds like your engine is kind of dying, then uh, yeah. But if your engine is like screaming at you, then you have a good angle, mm. <laughs> sort of. Like you can slightly notice it at least. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. I can hear the difference. That's like that's like uh, you know the audio audio cue that uh, yeah, kinda, yeah. that we had earlier. Okay, okay. Uh, anything else? Um, maybe if I uh, take a look at the uh, campaign again. But I think we definitely covered the most important things. What's of course also um, interesting is the way how car switches work. Because I don't know if you've played too many um, too many tracks yet where um, car switches are a thing. Where you switch between snow and rally car, etc. Mm, no. But maybe what I can teach in general on them, also in combination with the snow car, is that you, when you have maps with different cars, um, you always want to use the different strengths of the cars, if that makes sense. Okay. So for example, um, I don't know if we have a good map for that in the, um, in the, uh, in the campaign here. But uh, if you want, I can quickly build one with like two turns or so, if you have time. Yeah, 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 I am now. I have <laughs> this time. This is something that came to my mind here. Okay. And maybe, maybe while um, you are building that, if there are some questions from people in the chat that uh, have not been asked or you need to have an answer to, then uh, write them now, I guess. Yeah, feel free to ask. Uh, there's a question here, rally bobsleigh, no steering or do you want to steer like in uh, like you do with uh, snow and stadium car? Um, from what know. I have seen, it's actually the fastest to not steer in these, like there's this one campaign map where you can yeah. see that. Um, there's also some scenarios where it's faster to not really take the typical smooth bobsleigh line, but instead to go a little bit unsmoother, but I also didn't really figure that out myself yet mm, too much. Okay. So I, uh, yeah. But uh, no steering is the fastest from what I know. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I am uh, cooking something. Mm. Uh, so, ping. We have a question here from Tarlo, but I think we already touched upon this earlier. Uh, is there no penalty for holding throttle and braking? This this would actually be like a, a little bit of an, like an add-on. Like, do you brake harder? if you don't hold the acceleration while doing so? Or like, is, is it the same as braking and accelerating? Um, I think you do brake a little bit harder. So if you wanna okay. uh, lose a lot of speed, I think it is making a small difference. It's not too much because as I said, releasing um, isn't making a big difference. Like you don't lose that much speed with yeah. it. It's just a little bit of okay. a difference. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but I cooked a map now. Yeah, I'm watching. Again. Yeah, I'm looking. You're ready. Okay. It's beautiful. So but what I what I meant. So we were sp speaking about the fact that um, when you have car switch maps in general, yeah, um, it is important to use the different strengths of the cars. And mm. um, what I mean by that is, for example, on this map here, like we start. Why am I putting the wrong ring again? Yik. <laughs> uh, at the start, you start with the snow car, and the snow car, of course, has a lot of grip. Yeah. Right? Like way more than a rally car. Um, so for example. In this case, the line you would want to take is not something like this, because you would have yeah, a shit line. Yeah, because you would slide instantly. 
Yes, but with the Snowcar, for example, with it ha which, which has a lot of grip, you can get yourself a nicer line for the turn. Mm. If you use the... It's something that also works for Stadium. So, for example, I Stadium do. Car is a lot faster than, like, Snow and Rally Car. So if you have a car switch gate into um, from Stadium into Rally or Snow, it would maybe often make sense to uh, go for more exit speed and stuff. Yeah. That's also a very complicated thing that you need to know what the different cars do and how you can make them work together. Like one very interesting thing for that, if you want to train that a little bit, <laughs> it's a bit now uh, altered Nadeo advertisement, <laughs> but there's this, <laughs> there are those campaigns which are uh, called a uh, car switch, where you basically at each checkpoint, you switch between, mm. uh, in this case, stadium car and snow car. Yeah. And uh, it's something where, where you can learn that a little bit and might also help for the one or other campaign map. Okay. Where you um, have the car switches. And it's also, honestly, it's also, um, a good example is also uh, map 10 in the current winter campaign. Mm. Yeah, I might not even like I, li like I might not even utilize it on this map. What? Yeah, like on this map, usually, uh, I mean, of course, eventually the fastest strat was discovered and people just copied it. But it's maybe also smart to like understand it a little bit. That, um, for example, in this in this part here, you can go uh, snow through this uh, turn, yeah. but you can also go stadium. And stadium is just faster because you can. Uh, Get more speed through this into the next part where you can then get this where you then get the snow car. You just have more exit speed basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the stadium car is faster than snow. It's it's a bit complicated to explain, but uh, I hope you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, I, I I understand it. I understand it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Is there maybe another uh, question? Uh, ideal way to wall hit. We touched upon this already. Uh, Granadi was not sure. He's need, he needs to wallbang more. Um, any questions in your chat? Um, yeah, actually, too. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask. As I said, like, rally car is really not that complex. It's just really hard. <laughs> yeah. That's what I... That, like, the, the, the barrier of entry is, like... Like, to, to actually control the car is so steep. Yep. Maybe what's also... Um, Interesting. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think when you have wood with the ready car, you see, you know that when you steer a lot, you um, go, go on two, two wheels, two wheels yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So first of all, of course, don't want to slide, but I think it's also faster to not um, go onto two wheels if you can avoid it. So for example, in this part here, it's of course very nicely done now by Sander here, but he's going through this part almost without going onto two wheels. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. So ground contact, especially like this. Is year. Like, like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> like ground contact is like. A must. Yes. Like, it's better, at least. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this... Yeah. Look at this. Know, that, okay. Yeah, you have to see the last turn. He goes again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, On two wheels. It's ridiculous. The very last one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This chicane and then... Yeah, this upcoming one. Yeah, like, he <laughs> tries to avoid it. And, yeah, basically minimize steering. Yeah, okay. Know? Okay, okay. But there are no, yeah. like, uh, you know, Woogle-type beats... Uh, on, no, no, no. Like no. basically, you're saying rally. If you so to, to sum like kind of a lot of things up is rally on its own is very very simple. It does not have speed slides. It does not have quantum drifts. No. It does not have uber bugs, bug slides. It's literally not even. yeah, no no air control necessary, no gear, listening. Um, it's just pure driving. That's uh, the, base, yes, that's that the basic gist of it. Pretty much true. Pretty yep. much, if you can control that you are never sliding, you are going to be a good rally driver. Yep, that is pretty much it. It sounds simple, but it's just really hard to master, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very difficult. Like, I am struggling yes. a lot. Yeah, it's also very, very different to the way you drive Stadium, of course. Yeah. Uh, maybe one last thing that comes into my mind, which is kind of, it's not really used that often, but it's kind of interesting trick, but it has been used on the risky finish of um, the ice track of the day. Yeah. And that is the thing that when you go, it's, it's the same for snow, by the way, when you go through a booster, um, you keep the booster effect for a little bit. You maybe know that from Canyon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also Valley, I think it's probably the same, and maybe also Lagoon, I don't know. Um, which is why uh, you can get this kind of soup boost here. I don't know what the exact name is. No, it's soup boost. But it's, it can be a, a soup boost, official name. Uh, like, okay. <laughs> but it can be used to, to steer um, to steer on ice a little bit in case you have a scenario mm, like that. Okay, okay. 
I see, I see. So, yeah. I could also build that in the map now, but I guess you know what I mean. But it's a very niche thing, of course. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know. I don't think people will see that very often. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I have asked everything. Uh, and uh, I don't think I have more questions. I don't think I have any either in my chat or anything. Damn. Not that I know, at least. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe in like a, a week or two, uh, if more questions come up, we can uh, sit down again and, you know, discuss new things. Because who knows? Maybe, maybe we don't know what this what this specific rally car is capable of doing yet. Maybe there are new things that you also have not discovered. That is, yeah, uh, sure, on the new surfaces. However, I also think uh, I want to do this with snow. Since we have the newly yeah. updated snow car, I think a lot of things are more simplified. But uh, uh, yes. I think I think me writing down a couple a couple questions again could also benefit uh, the snow people. Yeah, I would be down for that. And I mean, for snow, I can definitely help as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn, yeah. teacher Granati, guys. This Sounds was like the first uh, yeah. first teacher class. <laughs> this was the first yeah. class. No, I, I appreciate it. a lot it. of students. I think everyone, nice. I mean, I saw a lot of people, uh, they were very welcoming. And uh, the knowledge that we just gained can be used. I mean, I am definitely going to use, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, this was the real Trickmania school. Yeah, we have the Trickmania yeah, actually, school true. club, but this was the this was the real one, eh? True. Yeah, I hope it was helpful. Of course, I also want people to uh, try out the new rally car, as it's something that I love in Trackmania, of course. Yeah, th that is also the reason been... why I, you know, I want to do this because yeah, people yeah. instantly shut down the idea of learning uh, the new the new Sadly, car. Yes. And I... I'm very happy that this time it's actually uh, going way better than with snow car. Yeah, like this time people seem quite open for it, and it's also like I expected really negative responses to mm -hmm. it, but. Many people actually like it and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool to see. And I also think, like, because personally, I am I'm not good on rally. So I think if I can show that I can get better at it with like help, then it might uh, you know encourage others to do the same thing. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. All right. <laughs> well. And yeah. Hopefully, we can do the same for Snow then. That was episode one of the Trickmania School with Granadi. Guys, yeah. I'm going to shout out the Granati guy. And uh, yeah, I guess thanks everyone for watching for the uh, first first episode there. Hopefully it is beneficial to uh, to many. That is the goal. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll do uh, we'll do snow maybe in two weeks, maybe in one week. We'll see. But uh, yep. I will wish you a good luck in the cup of the day. Yeah, a troll cup of the day. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, imagine if, if it's, it's another, a troll if it's map another with, free camp map, with I'm gonna rally snap, by the way. and snow and stadium. Oh no, I can. That would, that would be cool, to be honest. That would be really cool. Oh shit. Anyway, I'll let I'll let you do uh, do your do your own thing. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it yes. a lot. Yeah, was a lot of fun, and maybe see you next week then already. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah 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 yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, pretty much it with the first coaching session. <laughs> Definitely let me know um, if you want to uh, see that for the snow car as well, also for the YouTube people watching this. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed.